Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Here, let me put the timer first before I start this video. All right, uh, quiz, true or false? Carnitine is scientifically proven to increase androgen receptors, you know, the receptors for testosterone. So before I give you guys the correct answer um, and eventually go on and read the comments, uh, let's explain, let's quickly explain what carnitine does, right? In fact, carnitine is an amino acid. Your body makes it, but just obviously not enough. Um, and it's mainly found in foods. As you guys know, um, I always recommend getting the majority of your shit from foods, right? So I'm not referring to carnitine supplements here. I'm talking about actual carnitine that your body makes and the carnitine that you get from foods. Um, and it is scientifically proven to increase androgen receptors. Is that true or false? Well, the answer is true. Um, and then I'm, if you want, I could go over the different studies that looked at uh, carnitine's effect on uh, not just androgen receptors, but a lot of other functions. By the way, carnitine also plays a massive role in fat loss. In fact, without carnitine, you can't even lose fat, right? Because carnitine is what shuttles, uh, is what carries fatty acids into the cell uh, for them to be burned by the mitochondria, blah, 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 blah. Um, but skipping the nerd talk, carnitine does protect your cells from damage, um, from training, um, from oxidative stress, and in the process, it also protects your androgen receptors from being destroyed from the things I just mentioned. So it's not just your androgen receptors that carnitine protects, it's a lot of other things. And obviously carnitine also plays a bunch of roles on cognition and, uh, you know, um, focus and things like that. But for now, for this video, we'll just focus on the effects it has on androgen receptors. If you knew to my videos, you don't know what, or you're new to testosterone, you don't know what androgen receptors are, watch my videos on it, but long story short, testosterone cannot work without the androgen receptor. Technically, it can. There are some things testosterone can do without the AR. I'm going to call it AR to um, keep it short. But the vast majority of the things that we know testosterone for is done through the AR, the androgen receptor. In fact, I have a video called Your Mother Decides How Jacked You Are. And if you watch that video, I explain how... Um, Pretty much you get your androgen receptor from your mom. And um, if she gives you a damaged version of the AR, you fucked. Like you could train as much as you want. You're going to put very, very little, um, you're going to make very little progress compared to somebody who has an intact androgen receptor. So see testosterone as the key and see the androgen receptor as uh, the lock, right? In fact, the reason why DHT, dehydrotestosterone, is more powerful than testosterone is primarily, it's mainly because it activates the androgen receptor better. Um, to make things... What makes things even worse is that if you have all the testosterone in the world, but your androgen receptor is not working, you actually come out looking like a girl. Uh, I could make a whole video on that. You literally come out like a girl. Penis is not showing. It's like a weird vagina thing. Um, and you develop like a girl, even though you have sky high levels of testosterone. Not to mention most of that testosterone is just going to convert to estrogen, but that's a whole different video. So long story short, your androgen receptor is extremely important. It's what decides how much muscle you could put on. <laughs> up there with myostatin and phylostatin pathway, and um, it's really what makes you a man, right? So whenever we say testosterone, testosterone, androgen status, we're really referring to the action that it has on the androgen receptor. That's why when people have prostate cancer and then um, the, the, the doctors want to reduce the amount of DHT, the DHT activity in the body or testosterone activity, they either give you gosarelin or drugs that lower your testosterone, right? Or they keep your testosterone the same, but it just block your androgen receptors, you know. Um, that's also how psalms work. Think about it. Psalms, you know, selective androgen receptor modulators. That's all they do, you know. They just mimic testosterone and DHT, whatever, by directly activating your androgen receptor, okay. So long story short, quick summary, the androgen receptor is simply what allows testosterone to do testosterone shit, right. Now, again, I could make separate videos on the, on the other pathways through which testosterone has its effects, but the AL is the main one. All right, the answer is uh, true. I already said it, right? Uh, carnitine does protect androgen receptors from damage, um, especially after training, based on research, and it does a bunch of other things. But anyway, let's see the comments. Oh, by the way, and that's also why I tell you guys, you, you can't just look at testosterone levels, right? I hate when people make studies or even videos where they're like, oh, look, testosterone on this, testosterone levels. Testosterone levels mean nothing if your androgen receptors are not... Uh, put in context. That's why there's studies showing people with low testosterone building a lot of muscle and people with high testosterone not building enough muscle. It's because it's not about the testosterone levels. It's about the androgen status. Is 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 the testosterone actually binding through the androgen receptor 
um, is the DHT binding to androgen receptor is uh, uh, is cortisol low. You know, it's, it's it's a big picture. You can just look at one thing. But anyway, so let's look at the uh, comments. Halloween, can you do a video? Give us an example of a real good diet, rich in protein, cause fast. Guys, I've done it. Like I've done tier lists. You guys remember the tier list? You know, I'm about to not category. Fucking amazing. Da da da. Well, I've literally showed you guys best protein, best carbs, best fats, best vitamins. Everything you just mentioned. I already did, did videos about this. If you want, I could put it all in one video. But the fuck, man, stop being lazy, guys. Um, but yeah, yeah, just type Team Through the Alpha tier list. And then type like protein or carbs or fats and just pick the foods that are in the top two, you know, um, tiers, you know, like tier, tier S, tier A, the I'm about to nut category and the fucking amazing category. Yeah. But yeah, I already did that. Guys, I, I, I wouldn't be renting on all these videos and complaining about your shitty diets if I hadn't already given you time and time again the answers. But yeah, yeah. If you guys want, I see it has a lot of likes. Um, but if you guys want, I might put it all into one video. It's going to be long as fuck, though. All right, next. First, I uh, heard about this is Chase Irons. I have no idea who this is. Our desertion is far better when injected and when digested. Um, no, this is actually... It's, that's if you're comparing injections comparing to the supplements. By the way, once again, shocker, if you're getting your carnitine from food, it actually has a higher bioavailability than a supplement. Are you surprised? Ooh. I've been telling you this forever. Now, again, it's not always the case, you know, to be fair. It's not always the case that uh, getting the supplement from Whole Foods is better. But most of the time it is. In the case of carnitine, yes. Um, bioavailability of a carnitine supplement is so trash. In some cases, it's as low as 5 to 10%. So you're buying 2,000 milligrams. You're taking 2,000 milligrams of uh, carnitine from a pill, right? And you're getting ripped the fuck off because you're only absorbing maybe 200 milligrams. Right, and this is well documented in the research. So that's how, again, that's how these companies rape you off, man. Meanwhile, if you're getting beef, yeah, you might be getting a lower amount of carnitine from that red meat, but the bioavailability is so fucking high that it's often higher or equal to the overpriced supplement. Right. Um, now, as far as injection and all that shit, guys, you guys know, like uh, my channel, I like to keep things simple, things that a caveman could do. So even if injection is better, which in some cases it is. Why would you do that? Why would you want to inject carnitine, guys? Just eat red meat, man. Keep things simple. Um, but, uh, but yeah, he's not entirely wrong, right? If you inject carnitine, obviously, you're going to bypass the liver and things like that. And you're going to bypass, um, sorry, um, you're, you're going to bypass stomach acid and all that stuff. But that's not practical. Right? I'm not going to tell my subscribers to walk around, you know, with syringes and shit. Um, who knows what else they might put in that thing? You know, so it's a slippery slope. It's a very slippery slope. Next, I don't know, but I'm voting yes. And we promise to give us a trade question. Um, <laughs> need a video. I actually give you guys a lot of trade question to see how many idiots out there or how many people are not. Um, don't pay attention to the videos or don't pay attention to the research or to just common sense. Need a video on carnitine, please, Megan. Sure, if you want. But I pretty much gave all the answers away here. You should make a video on... Uh, no, no, I won't. Uh, that would be unreal. I know um, an East African dude who cried as soon if you know you can create a we just die my Christian. Of course, guys, if you want, I could make another, I could make a whole tier list on the things you could do to boost your energy and receptors. Because remember, at the end of the day, if your T levels are low or even normal, but you make your energy and receptors uh, more sensitive or you increase the amount, you're going to be more anabolic than somebody who has a thousand nanogram per deciliter testosterone. In fact, why do you think nucleus of load works so well? Right? One of the reasons is you're increasing the myonuclei. What comes with the myonuclei? More androgen receptors most of the time. Um, same thing with satellite cells. In fact, satellite cells, which would open a nucleus of load, increase satellite cells, and actually get them to donate their nuclei into the muscle because you don't want to just increase them and then they go right back to being um, dormant. But if you actually make the conversion happen, you're getting more androgen receptors. And I can show you the studies. Um, now, there are differences in muscles. Right, Some muscles get more have more androgen receptors per myonuclei than others, but all else equal, the more satellite cells, the more myonuclei, all else equal, the more androgen receptors. That's why the muscle becomes so sensitive to growth after nucleus overload. That's one of the reasons. But I can already explain that in nucleus overload videos. Whenever you hear me talk about satellite cells and myonuclei, I'm talking about it's mainly androgen receptors. 
Because what's the point of my, of my nuclei if it has no DNA and it has no transcription factors, which is what the AR is. It's a transcription factor. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're referring to a dumb people who had a transcription quality from the diet and doesn't increase the length if you would again. And all that. Again, you, you, okay, so let's, let's, de let's deconstruct that. I'm pretty sure the studies you're referring to were done in people who had insufficient quality. No, no, they did not have insufficient quality. In fact, there's even studies showing that, um, Anyway, I'm going off topic here, but there's even studies showing that even vegetarians um, have some cognitive in, in, in their body because the body tries to adapt, you know, based on the fact that they're not eating enough meat, whatever. But no, uh, it's not if you have low cognitive. Um, and um, it doesn't increase. In, that's everything. Obviously, it's like zinc. If you have enough zinc, more zinc is not going to do shit. So why are you preaching to the choir? It doesn't increase in a linear fashion. No shit. Dude, that's like saying if you already drink enough water, more water is not going to make you feel better. You want a fucking Nobel Prize for that. People said the most obvious thing as if no one knew this. Anyway, when I took carnitine, it was hard to train. See, you're talking about the supplement. Y'all niggas drive me nuts, man. I'm talking about carnitine from food. Food, food, food. Um, and also the one that, you you know, that your body actually makes if you're getting enough protein. Um, because I had to take uh, shit every five minutes. Pretty sure it boosts... Um, Testicular, and now don't get me wrong. If you want, when I make the video on carnitine, I will talk about the studies on carnitine supplements. Um, in fact, in most of the studies, they have to use the supplement because obviously it's a study. They have to isolate the, you know, the compound. They can't just give them red meat because then you can't isolate. You can't come to the conclusion that oh, it was carnitine that gave them more testosterone or more this or more androgen receptor or more antioxidant. Uh, you know. Like, you can't do that if you just give them red meat because there's so many things in red meat. So in the studies, they have to use a supplement. That doesn't mean that you have to use the supplement, you know? But uh, anyway, pretty sure it boosts testicular function. Yeah, carnitine has a ton of benefits. Oh, guys, you would be you would be dead without, without carnitine, you know? It has so many effects. Again, your body makes it for a reason. In fact, your body makes it from two very important amino acids, lysine and methionine. And again, if you're getting enough choline, that's also going to increase... Uh, Carnitine retention and synthesis in the body. I already made a video about choline, which almost everybody's deficient in, over 90% based on the studies, not not just the poll, based on actual studies. But yeah, if you're getting enough choline, your body's gonna make enough, your body's gonna make more carnitine. Um, carnitine is legendary, guys. And it's and again, it's nothing new. It's not a new, it's, it's not even a supplement. I hear people think it's a supplement. It's an amino fucking acid that companies decided to make a supplement on. Just like creatine. Everyone thinks creatine is this synthetic thing that people just made in the lab. Creatine is made in the body. Um, it's an amino acid. But anyway, so uh, pretty sure it was, I can't wait for this video. Um, I take five to eight grams. Uh, I mean, again, again, if you want to purchase a carnitine supplement because you have the money to waste and you want to use it as a backup plan, once again, I, I, I can't complain. But I don't think people should get the majority of their nutrients from supplements. You guys already know my stance on that. I say it in every video, year after year, but it never changes. If it works for you, great. But I, I'd rather have you guys get your, for example, look, five to eight grams of carnitine, right? Tartrate, you're only getting 10% of that, maybe 5%, right? Some studies show 20% um, from supplements, but really, the, it's really around five to 10%. So out of your five grams, which is 5,000 milligrams, you're only getting 500, right? At best, probably even 250, you know? And that's if the supplement actually has carnitine, which is another reason why I tell you guys just stop relying on these supplements unless it's a backup plan. Um, whereas in red meat, you know you're going to get some carnitine. Anyway, next, um, every day 10 grams, 5 grams, 5, five grams. Again, if, if it works for you, great, but I don't agree. I don't agree with getting all that from supplements, but let's keep going. Um um, and, and guys, trust me, like, I don't bash supplements just because I want to. Like, I, I've, I've experimented with all of these things, man, on clients, on myself, da 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 And I tell you guys what works, what doesn't work. That's why I always tell you, the only supplements that I think everybody should have, right, is vitamin D3, if you live north of the equator, right, and you're not butt naked outside getting enough sunlight, because it's literally impossible to get enough vitamin D3 from food. You have to eat, like, pounds and pounds and pounds of salmon. Um, you just get fat as fuck. Um, or you have to be outside near the equator, butt naked for like hours, right? If you're white, then you only need like five to 10 minutes. But so that's why I said the only supplement everyone should take is vitamin D3 because it is, for, for, well, to be technical, it's not really a supplement, but I already made a video about it. Go check it out. The second one, and that's not mandatory, um, is creatine. 
Um, but that's not mandatory because, again, your body makes creatine. You get some from red meat, once again. Um, it's just you get it's a lot more efficient to get it from supplements simply because you don't have to put a lot of strain on your body's methylation and blah, blah, blah. I, I don't want to go into the nerdy details, but the only supplement that I think everyone should take if they are north of the equator or they don't get enough sunlight or they live in fucking Norway or Canada somewhere is vitamin D3, right? Other than that, almost everything else is obtainable from foods, you know, at high enough quantities. But I digress. Love carnitine in burritos. L-carnitine is one of the only supplements I recommend unless you're eating a couple of pounds of beef every day. Um, yeah, yeah, this guy did his research. You know, if you take it early, you need like six grams because of poor. But there you go. He did his research, right? If you, if you take it orally, especially through a supplement, very bad bioavailability. Whereas with um, from red meat, it's actually extremely high. I think it's as high as 70. I have to double check the, the studies on that. But I think it's as high as 70% bioavailability in the studies um, from red meat. Oh, is it 80%? I have to check. Um, but yeah. Name I hope is true. Yeah, it is true. True, let's go. Uh, and this is not new, guys. Again, the, the, the research on carnitine goes back, what, at least, I think the first study that showed the effects of carnitine on androgen receptors was by Kramer back in the uh, late 90s or early 2000s. So, yeah, people have known this for over 20 years. Um, it's, again, that's another reason why I emphasize red meat so much, you know, because it has so much, so many important, you know, nutrients. Carnitine, creatine, carnosine, taurine. All right, what are the best sources of carnitine? Red meat. That's why it's called carnitine, carna, you know. Um, let's see. I thought it was, uh had to be this... I got a fifty. I got a fifty-fifty chance. There's also evidence that might decrease the effectiveness of thyroid hormone. I'll talk about that study um, in a future video. Should put an option for I don't know. I'm guessing yes. With a video on DHT. By the way, yeah, I gotta make videos on DHT because again, I didn't think I I had to because I figured everyone would know the importance of DHT. But little did I know that once again, you guys were scammed. and we're told that DHT is bad and you got a black DHT if you don't want to go bald and blah blah blah. Which, again, is a half-truth and a half-lie. DHT, if you black DHT, you are fucking yourself in so many ways. But, again, I, I, I make a whole bunch of videos in DHT. You do not, I repeat, you do not want to black DHT if you're a man. Especially if you're going through puberty. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's a lot of, in fact, that's why a lot of you guys are walking around with micro penis. You know? Um, playing around with the most androgenic, you know, hormone in the body, you know? The, the purpose, I would say the purpose of testosterone is to become DHT. So it's like, why would you black the most androgenic hormone in the whole body? But uh, anyway, there's a little cartoon. MP, more, more place, more dates, says yeah, so yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> but he's definitely trolling. So let's see. Um, too much carnitine is just as bad as too little carnitine. He, he said that too. too. You know what? I'm not going to get mad. I'm never going to get mad because I, I'm pretty sure he said that to trap me because he knows how much I hate comments like this. Um, so he definitely said that to troll me. To be honest, I have no idea, so I don't vote. Seems really far fetched as well. Hop on the road, start going about all these boys. See, look at this idiot assuming that I'm referring to supplements. The moment you mention a compound that is naturally occurring from foods or in the body, you guys are so trained to go straight for supplements that, look, he, he assumed that I was referring to supplements. Anyway. Uh, falls, um, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, so 75% of people actually got this one right. So that's, uh, that's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Only, uh, only a quarter of you mofos are in the Smeagol category for this time. But, uh, let's see. Um, all right, guys. Anyway, hope this video helps. Uh, join the Discord where all the epic conversations take place. Make sure you read the rules so you don't get banned. Um, and, uh, like the video, comment, Busiago, all that good shit, support the channel, buy the book, blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm out. All right, guys, don't forget to like or share the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workout splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. 
It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. All right, guys, I'm out of here.